Lord, kumbaya. I remember that one. Oh, Lord, kumbaya. Someone's praying, Lord, kumbaya. Someone's praying, Lord, kumbaya. Someone's praying, Lord, kumbaya. Oh, Lord, kumbaya. Good morning, guys. How are we doing today? Good. Now, I see somebody wearing my favorite shirt of the day is the Pi Day shirts. Can you stand up and show it to everybody? She's got that wonderful Greek letter and number, the ratio of the circumference and the diameter of circles. And it says, irrational but well-rounded. <laughs> that is just delightful. I love pi. It, it, I think, is, is my favorite number. So I'm really glad that you're wearing it today. So anyway, we have an interesting Jesus story today. He tells a story about a guy who has a fig tree planted in his vineyard, that is, around his grapes. So the fig tree is planted, and there's a problem with it. It hasn't had any figs on it. If you plant a fig tree, do you want figs? That's why you plant a fig tree. If you plant an apple tree, do you want apples? Yeah. Yeah. Right. And it's been three years and no figs. And the landowner says to his gardener, the guy who takes care of all of his plants, the landowner says, cut that tree down. Get rid of it. It's not bearing any figs. And the gardener says, please give me just one more year give me just one more year or one more chance for this tree and so hi young ladies so he says give me just one more year and you know what i'm going to do i'm going to take care of the tree i'm going to put a bunch of manure around the tree do you guys know what manure is <laughs> poop you would be completely right now, if you were in my yard at my dog's bathroom area, because she has a special area, and you stepped in some, would you be happy about that? No. You would be scraping it off on the side of the pavement. You would be getting a stick out to scrape it out from the cracks in your sneakers. You'd be calling on mom or dad to help you do it. It wouldn't be a good scene. Or change your shoes. <laughs> Let somebody else clean them up. Yeah. So, in this case, the manure is supposed to be a good thing. Because it... Have you ever driven down in Maryland and passed all those farms? Who is this thing? Oh, yes. In fact, I used to live in that area. And you know what you call that air that is stinky with manure that's been spread? You call it fresh country air. <laughs> that is the expression you use when you live in farm country. Oh, that's good fresh country air. It's a good day. Because it makes stuff grow. When I had a big garden, and there was a time when I had a really, really big garden, every year I would get a whole truckload of manure and put it in my garden. That's what I did. So... The gardener says, let me put manure around it and give it one more year. The landowner says, okay, we'll give it one more year. We'll take care of it and see if that works. One of the interesting things is Jesus doesn't tell the end of the story. Jesus doesn't tell what happens after one year. Because sometimes, whether we bear fruit or not in our lives, something of that is up to us, right? No matter how much... God blesses us, we still get to choose some of those things for ourselves. So I want to invite you to pray with me. And guys, will you pray? a lot of times when we pray, we pray like this. I want to invite you to pray like this. Can you put your hands open like this to God, like you're going to receive a blessing from God? Everybody do that, okay? And then just repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for loving us. 
Thank you for giving us a second chance. Help us to bear fruit. Help us to follow Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right, guys, thank you very much. Now, we want you to know we have a class for many of our young people, if you wish to go to that, and um, moms and dads are going to be invited to take those of you back who are going to that class after you get your worksheet. So we've got to hand out those worksheets. I'm going to ask Miss Kim and Mr. Rick to help hand out these worksheets for our young people, okay? All right, thank you.